everyone, and this is the third in a series of 10 easy jazz blues lessons, ideal for guitarists who are just beginning to dip their feet in the jazz waters. However, if you already are a jazz player, no matter what level, I believe you can always benefit from expanding your repertoire of jazz blues hits. For this third lesson, I've uh, selected a piece written by Milt Jackson, who played uh, vibraphone with the uh, modern jazz quartet, and it's called Bag's Groove. And like with all the blues heads I'm teaching in this series, I recommend that you listen, of course, to the original as well as other versions of this tune. And by the way, my personal favorite is the uh, version uh, recorded by Jim Hall and Ron Carter. Now, what I'm going to do next is play it at tempo and improvise over a couple of choruses so you can get a feel for the uh, tune. And then I'm going to teach it to you by playing the uh, melody very slow and comment on what might be going on in uh, the several measures of the piece. And note that I don't use tabs or any notation in these easy blues lessons. These are very memorable, easy to recall themes, so I advise that you just grab your guitar and watch, listen, and learn. Here it goes. <laughs> Ready to learn? Okay. This is a uh, minor pentatonic based melody, and it's uh, played in the key of F. We're going to use a minor pentatonic, and I'm going to show you the uh, fingering just in case you don't know it. Okay, and uh, before I get started, I want to say that uh, the way Milt Jackson has it in the uh, old Rio book lead sheet is a little bit complicated to play on guitar. I'm not saying it can't. Basically, he has the main motif or the main line written like this. That's cool at that tempo, but remember, if you're going to try to play this really up, that's going to be kind of hard to play on guitar. Now, 
Keep in mind that Milt Jackson was a vibraphonist, and that's a percuss percussion instrument, actually, and it's a lot easier to play lines like that. So I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to show you a simple way of playing it, and then I'm going to show you how I like to play it myself with some double stops and some nicer embellishments. So it consists of this same uh, phrase or line played three times. I'm going to play it starting on the root and then we're going to go to the uh, fifth here, okay? It has a little pickup on four. One, two, three, four. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. That's the Charleston rhythmic style. Two, three. Last time. Two, three. A one, two, three. And then it goes to a second part, which is a different line over the uh, 12 measures. So I said I was going to show you uh, an alternate way, a more interesting way of playing it. And this is how I played it earlier when you heard me play the whole tune. And I liked. See, I'm doing a little double stop. I'm placing my uh, pinky here on the uh, F on the uh, 13th fret while I slide underneath with my uh, ring finger. And then you can play a little tritone here. to just keep this F ringing as you play the line on the uh, second string. Okay, so you play that three times. Now let's go on to the second part. And uh, again, based on the uh, minor pentatonic here in 10th position, Starting with your pinky. This time, we're starting a pickup using the, uh, the fifth, which is a C. Also on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And that's, that's it, basically. And then it repeats, or you can go to a solo, whatever you want. So let me just show you an alternate way of playing the second part here. And uh, you might have heard me play this uh, at the beginning. I like to play it also with two notes here, uh, Chinese style, you know. Three. Three times. 
times, okay? So basically, that's it. And let me just one last time play the whole thing, and you're going to see the chords that are played while I'm playing this, okay? One, two, three, four. kind of embellishing it, doing a mixture of the different ways. I want two, three. I want two, three. That's it. Enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more, I want to encourage you to visit my website, jazzguitarrichiezellen.com. There you'll find hundreds of free lessons with downloadable PDFs and MP3s. You can also register for my newsletter and instantly receive a free copy of my book, 20th Century Jazz Guitar, featuring dozens of transcriptions of phrases by the most influential players in the history of jazz guitar. And as if this were not enough, you will also receive three videos where I teach you my favorite phrases from the book. So don't miss out.